What's going on YouTube? So the video you're about to see is part two to the uh, video where I got the 1794 Liberty Cap half cent and the uh, King George II Hibernia. So John and I went back. We've been pounding this place trying to get everything we can out of it. Um, but we went back and uh, this is two different hunts from the same place. I kind of wanted to fill you in because there may be some questions as to when and where this was. And then you'll see in the wrap-up I got everything from all three hunts uh, going on. So anyway, take a look. Hope you enjoy it. And we'll see you on the next. So I just dug a plug. It came up like a uh, pull tab, and uh, I got me a button. You can see it right there. It's got design on it. It's starting to look like a general service button, which would be my first ever. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe. Hmm. Let's see. Let me uh, brush this up. I'll be right back. I got to clean up. Not a general service button, but it's just as cool. It's got a crest on it. It doesn't say anything. Uh, it is a two-piece. No markings on the back, so it may be more modern and just fancy. Uh, but it's cool. I'll take it. So I was swinging my coil and I heard thud, 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 And it actually picked up Jasper. Yeah, you know why it is? Because Jasper is iron rich. It's iron oxides. Ah. So speaking of, it's actually what um, I give off as a weak signal. It's what we call a paramagnetic, a paramagnetic signal um, in that state. So yeah, oh, that's, that's cool. That's iron oxide. Yeah, that's uh, that's Jasper. Learn something new every day. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right. So this is literally my second hole. The first hole was a pull tab, uh, two inches deep. Uh, the whites it was reading uh, 82, 83. Thought it was maybe a quarter. That would be a largey. You just beat me again. You just beat my quarter. Oh, dude. All right, so. Don't, don't, don't be too far. Yeah. Just be quick about it. All right, let me get this cleaned up a little bit. Let me brush it, and I'll get right back to you. All right, so John's got a good signal over here. I'm going to show you what it reads as. 87, 85, 86, 88 at 7, 8 inches. 89, 87. And on his AT Pro, it showed 85 to 90. So we're calling silver quarter. That was nice and clean down there. I'm gonna skin. Disappeared. It disappeared to storm my life. Yeah, it did. Hang on. It'll be here. Yeah. I think it's on the side wall. On this side. Towards me on the side wall. This way? Yeah. Come up. I'm not picking anything up. Let me see. This one has a little better reach. Yeah, no, this is not getting anything up. Oh, that far over. Yeah, that's right. Because when I was getting the reading, I was more, well, it's pinpointed. Not exact, but. Yeah, it's right here on the All side. Right. All right, let's see what we got. Did I finally get a silver, or did I get a dud? A quarter. Not, not, I don't know. I'm very famous for the cans, of course. It's the first silver can ever made. <laughs> it's about where... Oh, wait. wait what's that? Uh, pinpointers throwing me... Oh! Yep, you got a silver quarter, bud. Seriously? I'm dead serious. Our first silver. It's a silver down. Washington. Pull it out. All right. Wow. 
Oh, missed it. <laughs> Let's see what we got. My first silver. That's silver all day long. Seventeen seventy-five. <laughs> well, that's why Washington looks like a little kid on this quarter. Okay. Uh, fifty-seven. It looks like. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, fifty-seven. I believe. <laughs> that was that's fifty-seven, right? Nineteen fifty-seven, bud. All right. It meant mark on it, and it's a D. Oh, you want to look at the number? Nice, man. Dude, <laughs> awesome. After Dude, I'm I'm more than ecstatic for you for this. <laughs> Thanks. Not uh, a little windy, but I'm going to live dig this, and I'm going to try. It came up just like the last large scent. Two inches. Like quarter two, but nope, high quarter. See what happens when I live dig things. So, John and I have been hitting this place for uh, a few weeks now. Got the large cents and the kg and the half cent. This is the, actually the first button I've gotten out of this place. Well, I rephrase that second button but this is the oldest I've gotten out of here. Small little cuff button. I don't think there's any writing or detail on it. But got a shank on the back, flattened. Cool. If there's any markings on it I'll get it cleaned up for you. Alright, I'm back at my uh field of dreams. I don't know what I'm I'm gonna I gotta name it something. But uh I had a 50, 48, 50 scratchy signal. I'm like, probably junk, but I've been digging everything here because you just never know. Thought it was an aluminum can. It may still be some junk, but what we're going to do is I tapped it out on my shovel and this appeared. I have no idea what it is. So it looks like a bracelet of some sort. I don't think it's real. Maybe gold plated. Definitely a cool signal. Let's see if I can't get it stretched down there. There we go. And then it looks like a gold plated bracelet of some sort. That's a cool find. Just had a nice scratchy signal. It wasn't scratchy. It was really loud. 88 to 90, 84 to 90. Got this old lock. It's a pretty good size. It's not that old, but it's cool. I'll take it. So, my turn to get silver. I got a Merc dime. Beautiful one, too. Got a mint mark. Sorry about the wind. Let's see if we can get a date off this thing. 25? Let me take this off camera. Hang on. Eyes are watering from the wind. <laughs> Please hold. Okay, 1928 with a D mint mark. I don't know if you can see it anymore now that I mucked up the backside, but well, a D mint mark. Got a mark time. I'll take it. What's going on, everybody? I'm going to uh, do a big wrap up for you uh, of the last three hunts. I'm sure you all have seen by now. Um, 
I already did a short wrap up for the one hunt with the uh, two seventeen hundreds coins, uh, but I'm going to do a wrap up now of everything all together uh, of those last three or four hunts that you've seen. Um, so I'm going to get you down here and show you the table. Okay, so here is everything all kind of cleaned up. Um, I don't think this is everything, but it's the majority of the stuff. I didn't, I didn't have a lot of the trash, and there's a little car. I, I, it was only the bottom half of it. Um, only a couple of little things I'm not showing. It, it, I'm not even keeping it, so that's why I didn't show it. Um, but we'll get into uh, this last hunt. You saw me dig up the old padlock. It's not that old. It's got more modern key, but uh, I like it. Big old brass lock. Um, you saw the, the fork on the one video, um, 1940s hotel fork. It's junk. Um, did get this Zippo lighter. You didn't see me dig this. Uh, it was actually in the parking lot buried in the rocks. Uh, it had been compacted in there. Um, but it's, uh, a, a, Asahi, Asahi. Ashi, S, Asani, something like that. Anyway, I looked it up. It's a some kind of special brand lighter, Japanese thing that uh, was put together for an advertisement piece. Um, got a bunch of clad. Um, ended up with uh, two wheat pennies. We got the 1928 S Mercury dime. This is uh, the little bitty, tiny little flat button. I ended up getting. I uh, didn't find any markings on it. It is old. Um, we had that one large scent that, I mean, there's absolutely no detail on it left whatsoever. I, I couldn't find anything on it, and it wasn't for me over cleaning it. This is pretty much the way the dirt came off, and this is the way it looks. I, I tried to get some detail, rubbing some oil on it afterwards, but if you look at it compared to the previous large scent so obviously it's a large scent so um i'm going by that uh got this cool button i'm not sure exactly what it is if anybody knows i think it may be knights of columbus or it could be just a costume button i'm not sure but uh it does have looks like a ship at the top or something i don't know could be knights of columbus could be something uh, if anybody knows, please let me know. Well, there is nothing on the back. It's more modern. Uh, old Briggs and Stratton um, key. That is pretty cool. And we got that heart stopper, which ended up being just costume jewelry junk. Um, didn't clean up any better. Definitely got your blood going, though. And you see something like that drop down into the hole. Got some nice uh, fancy designing on it. And uh, we'll go back to 1795 Liberty Cap half cent. Uh, um, and then we got the King George the second Hibernia. Uh, there's his bus facing that way. Uh, you can see George's and two up here by my fingers. And then under the light, you can see the harp at the top there. No date. 1727 to 1760s when they were made, but that's a King George II Hibernia. Um, so I, I just want to make some. I, I see YouTubers all the time. These guys dig these things. They only dig deep signals. I don't dig only deep signals. I dig everything. And this is why. Inch and a half, four inches, and about two inches underground. And these are 1700s and an 1800s coin. So, you know, Little heads up for all you newbies out there, the, the newer detectorists. Dig everything. Don't just pick and choose because you're going to miss stuff. You know, I would have missed this if I was just digging deep targets. I would have said, ah, it's just a modern penny or a dime or something or a quarter. And I, I, I may not have dug it if I was cherry picking. So dig everything because you never know what you're going to get. Also, I want to uh, make mention of uh, John's finds. Uh, he... Uh, Let's put up a picture of his silver quarter he ended up getting that day.
Um, it was a, I was through the roof, over the moon happy for him that he, he got that silver quarter. Uh, the can man came through and ended up getting a silver coin. Uh, it just happened to be a 1953 Washington quarter. I'm very happy for you, John. Keep up the good work. We're on some good stuff, and uh, there's going to be lots more to come right for that came from, I promise you. And we'll catch you guys on the next hunt. I appreciate it, and uh, definitely be going back to this park many times over. Um, I hope I don't see any of you there. <laughs> if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.